This feels a little weird. This is the last video, maybe the second to last video that I'm going to do with the Lenovo T440P, a 10 year old laptop. And this is not it. I'm leaving the other one and I'm moving to this one. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use 2016 because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. So that's the price that we pay here for the OEM key. If you go over to Microsoft's store and we get the same key, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, it's $199. Um, it basically unlocks all the features in the operating system. But one's a retail key and one's an OEM key. So what is the difference there? Well, OEM keys were designed to be bundled with hardware and then sold to you. And, and essentially, when you buy an OEM key, you become your own hardware vendor. You are the manufacturer. You're going to be providing your own tech support and then you get that OEM key. It's going to be locked to your motherboard. So that's the main difference. Now, $200 for the ability to move to multiple different systems. Let's do a little bit of math here and see how many different systems you'll have to move to before it becomes cheaper to get the retail CD key. So you will have to buy 12 CD keys. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. So thanks to them for sponsoring, and now to our regularly scheduled program. This is a T14 from Lenovo. It's pretty. It's got a much faster CPU. It's a lot thinner, but I'm missing a lot of things on this new laptop that I had on the T440P, the old 10 year old laptop. It just had more stuff going on. It was more upgradable. The main reason, and there's only one reason that I moved to this. It was not for the speed. It was not for the faster hard drive. It, the ports, certainly not. It's a lot lighter and it's about half the weight, like two and a half pounds versus around five pounds for the T440P, especially since I have the larger battery on there. And that's literally the only reason I upgraded. That's it. I went ahead and kind of went all out because I was gonna be traveling to Japan. And I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna be over there and I have any downtime, because I'm gonna be riding the Shinkansen, if I want to play a video game, a new video game, I've been playing a lot of Pillars and some, some of the newer styled games, um, I wanna make sure that I can play them really fast. So this one will not really play Pillars very well. It plays a lot of the older games extremely well. Like if you want something to play like all the old GOG games, uh, you want to play, I played a ton of Rayman on this. That's the side-scrolling Rayman, not the 3D ones, but it'll play those just fine. It plays tons of emulators. If you want something that can play all that, this is totally fine. Let's just talk about this one more time in comparison this time to the new laptop. So what I'm going to be missing, we'll go around and just talk about it how sad I am about some of this stuff. The ports, and this is not a CD-ROM, but I've still got the CD-ROM. I'm gonna swap it back in there, I believe. I really, really am gonna miss this. As the years have come, you know, gone on, I've found that, okay, I wanna reach for these boxes because a lot of times the games that we thought we used to have access to on different services are locking down or disappearing entirely, like Alice. It's really difficult to get a copy of American McGee's Alice, but I have it on CD-ROM. So I can install it here using the CD-ROM and it'll play on this just fine. This has an integrated GeForce and also the Intel 4600 integrated uh, video, which is almost the same speed as the integrated GeForce, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna be missing some of that. No, I can take a little USB thing with me, like a little USB optical disk drive and plug it into this, which is what I'll do, or I'll just play those games at home, but I, I don't know, I like the option. And then above and beyond that, we just have more ports. Uh, luckily on the T14, I do have a full-size ethernet port. This is gonna get fun juggling this around. There it is on the side. I'm not gonna do B-roll with this. I don't have time. I'm working on some other projects. There we go. So you got that, that full-size ethernet port. And this is like one of the smallest ThinkPads that still has a full-size ethernet port and you don't need to rely on dongles and extra connections. So that's good. But over here on the side, we have more USB and a VGA. I love that. I really like having the analog output. If you're hanging out with somebody and they've got a projector or whatever, you can use that. Uh, and then we also have memory card reader, SD card reader. And uh, let's see this one, it's got four USB. All right, so this one is pretty good because we have two USB type C and then a USB on this side and then another USB 
on the back here on this side. So this one has some pretty good options for USB. There are a lot of laptops out there, especially the like Ultrabooks and the smaller ones that only have a couple USB, um, and we're talking like USB type C, and that's it. It's this. The thing I'm really missing is a memory card reader. So I have to carry around a memory card reader now. I'm carrying around a couple extra things, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, um, otherwise, this is really a better laptop overall. And there's one thing that I really like about this. It has a much better screen. There we go. Open up. Hello. This is 1920 by 1200. We get a little more verticality with our screen. And I love that. It's also a touch screen, as you can see. But having the extra vertical real estate is a big deal for me because I'm working on a lot of documents. I'm really going to miss that one because I almost typed a whole book on that other laptop. You know, you might think of me as someone who stays at home a lot. And that's true nowadays with, with COVID. But I do like going to not so much the coffee shops, but like the local diners, you know, where the people look funny and they wear real people clothes instead of trendy things. I like going to those places and sitting there looking at the cobwebs on the ceiling that never get cleaned. And then the tough person shows up and is like, hey, what do you want to eat? And you're like, I just want coffee. And they're like, all right, cool, because there's nobody there. Well, I sat there and I, I wrote probably a hundred and something pages on this, just over by the office. And the keyboard on this, it feels better. Not much better, but, you know, when I talked to Lenovo, they said that they kept the same keyboard design style, but this keyboard feels better to me. This old keyboard feels so much better. So really, I honestly wish I could keep this one, like a lot of the features, but I just wish it was lighter. I don't need the extra speed. I mean, it's nice, like I said, it's nice to have for certain types of games, but I was doing just fine playing older games. You know, I played Eye of the Beholder on that thing quite a bit, uh, part two, the one that starts off in the tavern, and then there's nothing else down in the tavern. I got lost and I should have been keeping notes. But yeah, the, the keyboard on this, it feels pretty good, but the other one has a little more of a poppiness, but it's like, this is like 80% there. I'm not sure why the old T440P feels better, what the difference is really, but yeah. Um, on both of them, I have my function button mapped as my control button. You can change that in the UEFI. It's really goofy to have function right here and not on the other side because control is always the corner button over here uh, with standard layouts in America. So it's really weird to put something else in the corner because you naturally are going to accidentally hit the function when you're trying to hit control. It's a very stupid design. All right, let's talk about a few more differences between these two. The T440P was the last Lenovo laptop that was majorly upgradable. I'm talking about CPU, RAM, hard drives, uh, the network, or well, the, the Wi-Fi card, you can upgrade all of that. Now, I'm gonna recommend that if you are in like the three to $400 price range, and you don't mind having a thicker laptop, it's okay, you're, you're not carrying it on your back all day, maybe you're putting it in your car, your truck, or you just are not going that far, or you don't have a very full pack, you know, you're not traveling. Even if you are traveling and your pack's not that full, it's still an amazing laptop. You know, this, this fancy one here, $1,200, and that is on a Black Friday sale. So if you're gonna get a new one and it's okay, yes, it is better, but it's like 2.5 times the price, somewhere in that ballpark. So yeah, I think you can get better laptops nowadays, of course, but do you wanna spend this much? I mean, I did, but I also got it on Black Friday. On credit, because I really wanted something thinner and smaller for traveling. But for most people, I think the T440P is still a good laptop. Now, if you wanna compare these two, I guess we can. I'll throw a Valley benchmark up on the screen and you can see that the, the new laptop that I have, it's got a Radeon 680M in it. That's just part of the CPU. It's the 6850, I think is the CPU. But yeah, it's got the Radeon uh, 680M. So Valley Benchmark, you, you can just see that like the T440P, it's 10 years old. It's really showing its age. It, it just can't keep up when it comes to 3D gaming. Retro gaming, totally fine. 2D gaming, totally fine. A lot of indie games, totally fine on the T440P, but 3D gaming, is mostly a no-go with modern games. Older games work okay, but modern games do not. They just got too many polygons. Now let's check out Geekbench and you'll notice something. The 4900 um, that I put in here, the 4910, I think it's the MQ i7 that's in the T440P, it's not too bad when it comes to single uh, core performance, but when it comes to multi-core performance, 
this one is more than twice as fast. But it's not, that's funny because the new one is not twice as fast. It's like a third faster or so when it comes to single core performance. But it depends, it all depends on what you're doing with your machine. You know, if you're just doing stuff on the internet, if you're just like writing a book or you're just working on some spreadsheets, then you're gonna be just fine with the T440P. But if you need to do video editing, you'll have a much better experience with the newer laptops, obviously. But again, in the $400 price range, it's still really hard to beat that laptop. Pretty crazy how the T440P is 10 years old and it's still a really good laptop. Now, another thing to consider, that one uses four, it's a 45 watt laptop, whereas this one's using like, it's like 11 watt. It's like way lower wattage, like one fourth as, you know, as many watts going on. So anyway, I'm glad you came and hung out with me while I talked a little bit about these two laptops and how much I'm gonna miss the T440P, but I just have a principle of not having too many things. Um, and I've, you know, I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of laptops and I got some other desktops on the shelf that I want to get rid of. I've been trying to get rid of things and live smaller. Maybe I'm getting ready, like trying to see if I can get myself in shape enough for a try for Japan, if I can get in there. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I don't know. But living in a smaller place, I want to get rid of things. I've gotten rid of several computers. I've gotten rid of several monitors. Like I got rid of like 12 monitors when I moved. And now it's finally time to get rid of the T440P. You know what? Um, the T440P that I have, let me mention one thing. Because, you know, I think maybe I'll give it to someone. Whoever else is watching, I want to know what you think in the comments. Should I give this away? Would someone in the audience like getting this? Would that make you happy? Um, this touchpad is not hooked up. I was going to swap it out for the fancier Synaptics touchpad, but I, you know, the ribbons are really small. Here's the story. I had this thing taken apart. The keyboard was off, which is not fun. It's not fun to take the keyboard off. And I was at the point where I was going to replace the Synaptics. I don't know where it went, by the way, but I was at the office. And I was like, you know what? This is really difficult. These ribbons are extremely difficult to plug in because my hands are big and my, my tools are, uh, I couldn't get it very precisely in there. So I was like, you know what? I don't use the touchpad ever, never. So I didn't even plug it in. I put it back together and I always use a mouse and I've never even thought about it. It's great. The first thing I usually do is like go into the UEFI, turn this off or go into like, you know, whatever function button it is that locks this and turns it off because I don't want my hands touching this. I loathe touchpads with every fiber of my being. They're garbage and the nipple's not on either. So, I mean, you could you can open it up and connect those things. I would recommend getting a synaptic touchpad with the actual physical buttons on it instead of this one, even though this one it works OK, but you could you can hook it up if you want to. But yeah, the other thing is I just ordered a new battery because this one is old and it's not retaining its full charge. So I just ordered the new biggest battery and I'll have that in soon. I was going to sell it, but I think maybe giving it away will be fun. So let me know if you would like to, you know, have a little giveaway with this. And if you do, I will make one last video with this thing just to talk about the giveaway. Um, I'll figure out some way for everyone to enter, but let me know what you think in the comments. If, if no one's interested, if no one says anything about like, yes, do a giveaway, I'm not going to do one. Just want to know. I'm basically just want to know who watches these things while I ramble till the end. You shall be rewarded with maybe one of these. I'll throw a mouse and some other stuff in there too. Melancholy, melancholy feels. Uh, one last thing, since we're talking about laptops, I will continue doing this. I like, you know, I'm going to do a different sale though. This mouse and also the Swift mouse, which is a little bit smaller and has a 3360 sensor. This one has a 3310 sensor, which is my favorite, but the 3360 is technically faster, someone said somewhere. I don't know. This is my favorite because it's shaped kind of like an Intel mouse. Get out of here, sunglasses. Nobody invited you to my party. It's really comfortable. Um, and I'll do both of these on half price at epicpants.com with the coupon code happy mice. All right, bye everybody.